Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 47, and today we have some very exciting news confirmed by David Corrinsweat himself. It has been a while since we have had one of these episodes, and it's good to be back. But before we get into what David has to say, let me know when you think the first full trailer should be released. People seem to have contrasting opinions on when is best, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's get into the Superman news. So, what did David Corrinsweat say? Well, on the Manly Things podcast, he discussed various aspects of the Superman movie, but one in particular caught my eye. He confirmed that promotion for Superman begins in winter this year in the South Hemisphere. And what big event is happening this winter in the Southern Hemisphere? Brazil's CCXP from December 5th to December 8th, 2024. Now that Comic-Con is very big, so that is huge for the Superman film. They will have a lot of eyes on them, and David confirming this has hopefully confirmed that he will be attending that event for the movie as well. Now this does kind of surprise me, but also doesn't. I'm glad they will be utilizing such a big event to promote Superman, and being in South America could really help sell the movie to South Americans. But that event will be seven months before the film comes out, and I feel that may be too soon. I know some films tend to do that, but I think the best time to start promoting with trailers is five to four months before the film releases. That gives you the right amount of time to increase hype for the film, but not let it die with promotion dragging on for too long. And I really want the first full trailer to be released at Super Bowl next February, as I feel that is a true American event, and Superman is the American hero. The combination just feels appropriate and could really utilize Americans' patriotic emotions at that time to connect to this new Superman and get them in the cinema a few months later for the movie. So I feel that blend could really complement the film. But promotion is going to start earlier than I imagined, and just because it will start in winter this year doesn't mean a full trailer will be released then. They could show a short 20 second clip or a small teaser trailer or potentially even just a Superman poster. And I think all we will get is a small teaser, about 30 to 45 seconds long maybe, and the first official poster, and obviously some nice comments about what to expect from this film from James Gunn and the cast that appears at the event. That's what I think they will show at Brazil CCXP. Anything more, and I feel it could damage the long-term excitement for the movie, just purely due to too much too soon. I truly believe less is more, and for this scenario, it definitely needs to be applied. Let us have the teaser trailer in December along with a poster which gives us a lot to work with and process at that time, and then give us maybe a small variation of it in mid to late January to keep the hype building, and then in February release one small countdown teaser just before the full-on huge trailer releases at Super Bowl. I think that would be perfect. If they give us too much too soon, it would make the following teasers and trailers have less of an impact and I really want the trailers to be how trailers should be. So many modern day trailers basically show you the whole movie in them and it can spoil many cool surprises. I get you need to sell the movie to the audience, but you don't want to get the balance wrong. You don't want your audience to watch the trailer and feel like they've seen everything in it and don't need to watch it in the cinema. You need to get that balance of giving them a clear idea of what to expect, which can draw them in, but not reveal too much, which leaves them asking questions and creates intrigue for the movie. I honestly think one or two main trailers is needed at most. I know some may think that's not much at all, but I really feel they can create small TV spots from those trailers to release on social media and on TV to really create that hype for the average viewer. I think they should use the odd new shots here and there in their new promotional teasers or trailers, but I really feel the mystery of not knowing much about the film can build so much more hype for the movie than having having so many trailers that people can basically piece the film together. I remember Transformers The Last Night having an incredible first trailer, and that's all they really needed to sell the movie to audiences, but they released over five full trailers, revealing so much which spoiled a lot of that initial intrigue in the film, and obviously the final product was disappointing, but I think they should have known when to stop. I think at a push, three trailers is good, maybe having them spaced two months apart, so February, May, and then July. 
But based on previous films, it's the third trailer that always shows off just too much and makes you feel like you wish you saw that new scene in the movie rather than on your phone. Which is why I think if they were to do three trailers, release the final one in July just before the movie's about to release or as the movie is releasing. So anyone that is a hardcore fan has probably seen the film already or is just about to and may not want to watch the trailer. And those of the general audience who maybe aren't quite convinced yet Yet, can watch that final trailer and go, wow, I need to see that in the cinema. I know the film has to compete with two other huge movies before and after it, so they will be very tempted to go all out on the promotion of the movie, to pull people into their film rather than their competitors, but I just feel like the other films will do that too. And I'd personally say, let them make the mistake of showing too much. The excitement and mystery of a new beginning is a selling point in itself. Although you do need to persuade people to go see your movie and why it is just as good, if not better, than the Superman before. You don't directly promote it as that, but you still need to show that off in your trailers, because that is a genuine element they need to show off. Why should people who were invested in the previous Superman, who they got rid of, go and see your new Superman movie? And actually, the more I speak about this, the more I think how challenging this job is going to be for the marketing department. You absolutely have to sell the hell out of this film. You need this to reach as many people as possible, but you don't want to make the promotion feel stale and spoil key moments, but it could also be those key moments that finally sell it to some of your potential audience. Wow, they have a really difficult job on their hands. Sorry if I've rambled on with this, but just as I'm talking about this, I've realized that the marketing team have an almost impossible job of getting the right balance. Personally, I think only three full trailers are needed that are released every two months and the first being in February. Then use shorter and smaller teasers, maybe showing off a couple of extra shots from the movie that are released on social media and on TV. That would be my ideal promotional campaign, but I imagine they will be very, very tempted to try and out-promote their competitors. It could work, or it could backfire. Either way, let me know how you think DC Studios should market their Superman movie in the comments below. But now it seems we have a date to look forward to, or at least a time of year to look forward to. I have to say I am getting more and more excited for this as time goes on. Now it's October, and that means it's only two months away. That's mental. I don't know if it's the same for anyone else, but August and September have just flown by, and our first full look at the new Superman movie will be here any second. I put a post out on my channel a few weeks ago and I'll share it with you here now. I said, you know when you think about a movie that you loved and you remember those great experiences you had throughout that time, the first set photo, the first trailer, and then finally watching the film? Looking back at those times with a smile on my face is exactly why I am treasuring every update from the Superman movie. We tend to say, oh, I wish we could go back to that time when the excitement and mystery was so high. Well, I'm going to make sure I make the most of this time. Hopefully, the actual movie is incredible and we can look back with fond memories. And I'm still doing that and will continue to treasure every moment of this journey until the film comes out. We're in this exciting time of the unknown. As much as some would like to act like they know what we are getting, none of us really do. At this point in time, the potential is unlimited and we have no idea how this film will look or feel or even sound. Everything we get in the first teaser will be a brand new experience. So much new information in just one go. We have no idea how the film will look and that is always a very important aspect for me. How will this film be color graded? We have absolutely no idea. We can assume based on Gunn's previous work, but he may go for a brand new style for this brand new DCU. Remember, the look of Metropolis is unlike anything we have seen before. And Gunn's got to set this film and franchise apart from what was seen before and from what the MCU is doing. And a part of that will come through the visuals. And the sound design, what will that be like? So many questions are going through my head when trying to imagine what this film will be like, and to know we are only two months away from getting potentially our first teaser trailer makes the near future very, very exciting. Now I want to know what are your expectations expectations for the first teaser trailer. How long do you think it should be? Who should be included in the teaser? Should we hear our first glimpse of the Superman score or should it be a song instead? Let me know all your expectations.
expectations in the comments below. Now, we also have a surprising reveal from Deadline who states that Alan Tudyk is playing a surprise role in the Superman movie. Now, he is already playing Dr. Phosphorus in Creature Commandos, so the fact he is playing a secret role in Superman implies that he is also playing a different character in this film. Now, I think this could be like how Sean Gunn plays different characters too, just as he is good with motion capture. So we could be looking at Alan playing a character who needs motion capture. He has done motion capture before for K2SO in Star Wars Rogue One and Andor, so he has been known for doing this before. Or maybe this could be more voice acting, maybe a CGI character who also needs a specific voice that Alan can do. I really don't know who he could be playing, but I have seen fans guess at maybe Solaris or even Crypto. Now Crypto would just be the motion capture work and not a voice actor needed, and I could see that being the case, but he could be any character in the DC Universe for all we know. Deadline don't even know which character that is, otherwise I'm pretty sure they would have told us, unless they have been given strict instructions to not say anything. So if you have any guesses or suggestions on who he could be playing, let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!